Positive, negative, 13.54, 4. 13 13.54, perfect, okay, it works. Hey YouTube family, this is Austin EV only here. Welcome back to the channel. This is part of my continuing series on the Bookmoto electric vehicle conversion, if this is your first time to the channel. Uh, Bookmoto is a Piaggio Ape 50 made by Vespa. It's a three-wheeled Vespa and it came with an internal combustion engine, ICE, and the customer would like that converted into all electric since the motor never ran. Um, this is a circa 1980s Vespa or Piaggio Ape and because of that it has its original 12 volt battery which powers the headlights, brake lights, turn signals, things like that and that battery is pretty far gone. Um, I need the customer's permission to replace that battery so until then I'm just going to hook up my DC to DC converter in an always on state. This video is all about the DC DC converter, uh, getting it installed, getting it wired up and some challenges I come across along the way trying to put it into an always on state. Stick around and I'll show you how I get it done. Okay, so the next step is we're going to bench test this sucker. Using my benchtop power supply, I can get up to 32 volts DC. I suspect that this 48 volts DC to DC converter needs some minimum voltage, something closer to 48 volts. Um, and hindsight's 2020. Uh, I just guess and check, keep testing voltages until I get it to turn on. But had I stopped and looked at the uh, manual, I would have realized that 36 volts was the magic number. So the next step is, since we maxed out at 30, Two volts is to apply the full 48 volts and see what happens. Let me double check the input voltage is in fact 48 volts. Cool. 51.8 volts on the input. zero DC on the output. Okay, that's kind of what I suspected. It says the green is optional, but what if I make it permanent? What if I connect the enable switch permanently? Maybe that's my problem. Okay, I redid it with the enable switch permanently tied to positive, which makes sense. Like how else would it function? So let's start this at zero volts. See what we get on the output and slowly crank up the voltage. Oh, that's still fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're at 10 volts, 20 volts, 32 volts, nada. That stinks. Okay. We'll try 48 volts. Okay, I figured I'll prop this up since it's gonna turn on while I'm down, he down here. Plug it together. Back in the big old part. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, 13.6. So the DC DC converter works and it just needs. 48 volts to hit the threshold and the enable pin needs to be on. So let me check it out if I disable, if I detach the enable pin, what happens there. Yeah, the voltage falls. 
still falling. Enable. 13.6. Disable. There. Okay, great. Cool. So we figured it out. Okay, realize the work mess. Workbench is a mess, but I just want to get this done, so I'm gonna solder together these two uh, wires. For the purposes of is bringing the enable wire to the same length as the primary power wire, and then put those together like in a wire loom or something, and then. I don't know how you all bind wires together, but this is how I do it. Thread them together, then I twist them. And right here on my wooden bench, I just push everything up against the bench because I have not burned the wood to my knowledge. Or if I have, what's a bench for if you can't put a lot of... Uh, pressure on it. Cool. Cool, lots of solder. That ain't ever coming apart. Hate to break it to y'all. Alright, and that's a wrap. Time to install it. Okay, really cool installation coming up. Got our DC DC converter. We know it works now. I think we're ready to go. Um, so I'm gonna start by plugging in the cables that we just made. The enable pin. Okay, it's stuck in there. It didn't have a satisfying click, but it's in. It's not pulling out. Okay, cool. So there's that. And then just so I don't lose it, I want to go ahead and put my connector on here. I will wrap this in electrical tape and other to protect it, but I just, I want to get it on there for now so that I don't lose these little parts. So let's... Okay. That was a very satisfying tie down. Cool. Great. Shouldn't be any energy flowing through there. Yeah, so we're good. Let's put these screws in next. With all due respect to my friend at Astro Mechanics, I think he over-engineered this quite a bit. It's just too, too much. Too many screws going on here. And now the exciting activity of just physically mounting it into place. Not very interesting. Okay, now we're going to wrap this up. Okay, and then that is going to go back in there. Kind of hidden behind. Yep, like that. Okay, and then we're going to plug together. There is going to be a ton of arcing because the capacitors, that's just what they do. It says not to hot plug it, but what else are you going to do? Okay. I think that should do it. Okay, so our DC-DC converter is in, ready to be fired up and tested. So let's check it out. Let's see. Okay, so let's go measure the voltage at the battery. This thing is working, it's not getting hot, but if it's working, it should be 13.7.8, somewhere in there, volts, instead of just 12. Okay, you're going to take my word for it, I'll read it out. Positive, negative, 13.54, 13.54, perfect, okay, it works, wonderful, we did it. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. And more importantly, please subscribe. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin Evie only.